service is to provide specialist palliative and end-of-life care for those in need and to work in partnership with others to ensure that everyone in North Derbyshire has access to appropriate, high-quality and sustainable palliative care. Our vision is that everyone in North Derbyshire with a life-limiting illness and the people important to them can make the most of every moment together and that they can die with dignity and comfort. We wanted to try something different and see how working with professional artists delivering high quality art experiences would support us to offer the best care possible. We also wanted the residencies to give artists valuable experience in this specialist area. We'd previously worked with Junction Arts on other projects and wanted to continue the relationship. We felt their approach complemented that of Ashgate. We started with a taster session for staff and volunteers so that they could experience the workshops firsthand and would be better able to explain what was involved to the people they support. The taster sessions were also a way to skill up our staff and volunteers with a view to using these skills again in the future. The taster sessions included three activities, starting with a creative warm-up of mark making to different rhythms and styles of music. This was fondly called doodle dancing. There was also capturing a cuppa, simple, quick and easy drawing techniques and the origami boat making gave a sense of focus and purpose while using form and text. The taster session was thoroughly enjoyed by all who attended. Being introduced to meaningful art experiences in this informal way truly opened eyes to the power of creativity. The day service is a space for patients to come together and receive holistic treatment and support. I work with different groups on different days and often started with the doodle dance as an introduction and warm up and a way for us to get to know each other a bit better. We then shared a cuppa and actually used the mugs we drank from to explore accessible and different approaches to drawing and mark making using different tools and techniques. Sessions were very informal and friendly. It was important that everyone felt they could dip in and dip out whenever they wanted to. The inpatient unit is for patients who need care and support with symptom management or who may need end of life care due to the complexity of their symptoms. In the inpatient unit, it's important for us to care for the whole family and the project has enabled us to do that and to add an important element to this care and support. Sessions in the inpatient unit were varied and required flexibility. I often worked one-to-one -one or sometimes worked with young people so mum or dad could have a break. My artist toolkit was fully portable and hygienic and with lots of different materials in order to respond to how someone might be feeling. It included a portable speaker for playing music or sounds of nature. Ashgate's community hubs were originally set up to combat isolation and encourage peer support. They are safe, regular, informal meetups in community settings. Anyone experiencing bereavement can pop along at any time. This includes pre and post bereavement. Counsellors and support workers are present and on hand. We were keen to try out an artist in residence being part of these regular meetups and finding a way to become part of the group so that participants had the opportunity to express feelings through creativity.
Sessions in the community hubs and in the day unit were always evolving and one group went from mark making to the calming, meditative repetition of surface design to create their own personalised origami boats. It was important that there was something for everyone, so we also took inspiration from Matisse and his paper cuts and the reasons why his work evolved into collage. The Young Person Support Group offers support to young people who are dealing with issues surrounding palliative care and bereavement. This six-week course explores topics including relationships, communication, emotional resilience, loss and anxiety. The last session can be difficult, emotive because the course is coming to an end, so the art activity provided a positive distraction. The session was hugely enjoyable and the young people were able to express their feelings and thoughts through the art they created. The artist-led workshop really helped to bring the course to a successful conclusion. We've learnt of the importance of connecting with the creative expression of self, no matter what our life stage or experience. We've also learnt that high quality art experience can be accessed by everyone if we are creative about how we introduce it to people. The biggest challenge has been helping people to begin and to allow themselves to take part. So many aspects of the project have worked well, in particular to highlight connecting with each other and sharing the joy of creating. The artisan residence experience has been such a rewarding time. Those taking part have developed insights into themselves and especially into their innate creativity. Being part of this project has enabled me to grow as a practitioner by developing new ways to make art accessible to all. It has cemented my belief that the process and taking part is more important than the visual outcomes, as it allows the creativity to become the vehicle for heartfelt conversations and expression that might not otherwise have taken place. I love being part of such a caring team and working with participants willing to give it a go.